Victims of a suspected serial tire slasher are now taking matters into their own hands. Hyde Park neighbors who have been hit by this criminal over the past 15 years are now considering dipping into their own pockets to step up surveillance. The ex hands Jacqueline Inglés joining us live from that neighborhood with the latest. Jackie? David, in December, at least six residents reported that their tires had been slashed. Go ahead and look down here at this one. It's flat and it has not yet been repaired. Now, residents have gone to police over the past 15 years, but that hasn't helped. Now, as one victim told me, it's time to find out who's doing this and put a stop to it. Park your car in Hyde Park and you could fall victim to a serial tire slasher. We've had two cars with the tire slashed, two tires each time. Replacing the tires cost $500. The slasher, however, is costing some area car owners even more. Dozens of cars have been hit over the past 15 years, putting damage estimates in the thousands. The money, the frustration, it, just, it makes it hard to sleep sometimes. Victims of the tire slasher say they come out to their cars early in the morning and this is what they find. Completely flattened tires. That's why they believe he's striking sometime between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Neighbors are now banding together to throw a wrench in the perp's plans. They've met with a security consultant and plan to catch the person responsible. Their plans, however, are somewhat secret and target hot spots. There would be cameras involved. We don't want to give too many details because we don't want, we don't know that he doesn't watch the news. All Harris would tell KXAN is that the neighbors will vote to allocate $5,000 to collect evidence. If approved, the association will match the dollar amount, leaving $10,000 to track the suspect. It's just really frustrating when there's, you, you know he's on a rampage, and you go to bed and not knowing whether you're going to wake up with two tires slashed that you're not going to be able to get to work. Upping their chance of success, they have a person of interest. Both Harris and Jackson believe it's a homeless man living in the area. It's time to find out and, ha and have it stop. Residents will gather tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to vote. And while there are some residents who believe that they shouldn't have to pay up to protect their property and cars, Jackson is hoping that they follow her lead and vote in favor of collecting funds. Live in Hyde Park, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.